So to give me more time to gather and pre-walk the pan-seer eggs, we are going to be hunting for violet exclusives. We have Alolan Sandshrew, Passimian, and Morpeko to shiny hunt. Because there is currently an outbreak event, which I... Oh, okay, I do have it. It's about to say I don't have it. We have an outbreak event going on where, you know, the two version exclusives are in a game together. And we are going to be hunting for the violet exclusives. Because, you know, they don't spawn normally in the game. I mean, it's not really that big a deal. You can just breed for them, right? But, you know, it's just interesting. So you can see here, we have one thing to hunt in each area. And I'm going to start off with Sand... Oh, I'm going to call it Sand Slash. Sand Shrew. Uh... I'm not sure where I should hunt it. Because it'd be pretty cool to see it have, you know, says caught in the savanna biome or the canyon biome. Just because you don't normally ever get it there, especially even in this game. And clearly I don't even have one in the polar biome. <clears throat> I mean, I suppose this looks like a good, good spot to go to. And let me show you guys something real quick. What perfect timing that this event is happening, because if you look right here... Yeah. If you know, you know. I think you all know exactly what I'm going for. I was actually going to start this half an hour earlier. The reason I'm starting this now, half an hour later than I planned, is because I was finishing that up. I was, you know, I, I caught all the starters and I needed all the middle evolutions, so I needed to, you know, put all the starters into home, take them back out of home, and then evolve them into the second stages, put them back into home, <clears throat> open home again to take out specifically Grottle and Croconaw, because we still haven't had the seven star terror raids for, for Alligator and Torterra yet. And I tell ya, no, not Link Trade. I tell ya, the seven star terror raids really helped a lot. Because technically, you know, those are starters that were caught in the Paldea region in, in Scarlet and Violet, so they counted. So, you know, I didn't have to bother evolving every single starter there was to their third evolution. Those just saved me a bunch of, like, evolution candies. And for the first time, we are also going to be also incorporating my other Switch's Violet game. Because I did play through that game, and I did get a couple of Urban Mystica, so I can give myself endless sandwich boosts in this game now. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I am going to go for a Steel-type sandwich, because that's what I prepared for. You know, it was pretty, pretty hard work to balance both grinding for you-know-what, <clears throat> Shiny Meloetta, and also collecting, uh, collecting Pansier eggs. Let me just double-check real quick, because I do indeed have my 3DS in front of me right now. By the way, my other Switch does not have the DLC, so I cannot just go to... Uh, you know, the terrarium to make the sandwich. So I have to make the sandwich here in Paldea, and then I get to go to the terrarium. So let's see. I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 boxes and 5 at this moment. Wait, no, I need my other character to show up. So let's see. Pull out my calculator. 15 times 30, 450 plus 5. I currently have collected 455 eggs. I need to reach, obviously, 810. 
And then I need to pre-walk them all, so yeah. I am quite busy these days. Oh, I haven't even done the tutorial yet on my other Switch. So, if I'm not mistaken, let me double check. The recipe I need is two salty herbs. Hamburger, butter, two salty herbs, Mystica's gets me sparkle, title, and encounter. Yes, I need two salties. I'm gonna be going for two, uh, two Alolan Sandshrews, just so I can complete the line. You know, aside from it being a massive coincidence that these are the last ones I need for my, you know, dex completion in home, I did also plan to hunt for these. Like, for a long time now, I did want to hunt two Alolan Sandshrews and Alolan Vulpix, you know, one to evolve. And then I heard that this event was just around the corner, so I waited for this event. So I did want to hunt these for quite some time. So yes, I will be going for two Alolan Sandshrews right now. I don't know if there's a specific mark that's boosted right now. I'm not too sure. Well, whatever we get is what we get. So I will not be going for Alolan Vulpix today, or, you know, as well as Oranguru or Cramorant. Those are Scarlet exclusives, so I could technically just come into the game and get them anytime I want. And I was going to do that. Before this event, I was just gonna, on my own, come into the game and hunt for a shiny Vulpix. Hunt for two of them. In fact, I actually wanted to hunt for two female ones, because, you know, I want a shiny Vulpix and Ninetales to be female. Okay, that's gonna be way too slow. So that's one, not you. Two. Thankfully, Alolan Sandshrew 3 is quite noticeable. It's quite easy to notice. Four. Five. Oh, maybe I should have transferred over at six. Transfer something over to make this faster. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. You would not believe how many of these I have shiny in Pokemon Go. 11, with the sound cut off. 12. 13. 14. Now, sadly, these are quite hard to notice when they're turned around. 15. But it is leagues more noticeable than Vulpix is. 16, I think. I already lost count. 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, I'm counting so I don't actually lose count, 23, 24, 25. You know, not a day passes. I don't regret not hunting the Hisuian Voltorb one. 26. 227. 28. 29. 30. Halfway there. 31, 32, 33, 
34. 35. Is anyone falling asleep yet? Doesn't count. 36. 37. There's a Sandshrew over there. 38. 39. 40. There are Sandshrews over there. 41. Okay, I'm at 41. If I find a shiny on the other side, will it despawn? Uh, Armor Rouge isn't coming back to me. Uh, I'm hitting the button. Armor Rouge isn't returning to me. Okay, no. Coastal Biome, they don't despawn if I jump over. What the hell? Uh, I think my game is broken. Armor Rouge isn't coming back. My game is broken. Forty-two. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-five. Ain't this a quality game? Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty. Fifty-one. <sighs> Fifty-two. Counting myself is- I'm getting tired. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. 55. Get back here, you. 56. 57. 58. 59. And 60. And just for good measure, 61. Okay, 62. Oh, right, he won't come back to me. So we are over 60 now. Yeah, I'm kind of paranoid now. Like, Sancho should be the easier one to spot, but I'm worried because it's always turned around. It's kind of hard to notice. I don't think the back really changes. It's really the belly that changes. Well, I don't have anything else to do tonight. And I can give myself unlimited sandwich boosts. So, we can take our time. It is very not easy doing this and grinding for eggs at the same time. It is very not easy to do.
Do the ones over there despawn if I come over here? No, they don't. I like the coastal biomes rendition better. I'm gonna open my Pokemon Go real quick so I can actually see. Like, I don't think the white parts actually have really any significant change. I'm pretty sure it's just the yellow belly going to blue. Obviously, that's the most noticeable change. It's not that easy to spot, especially if they're all turned around. I don't think I spot any here. You know, in the process of grinding for Shiny Meloetta, three Shinies showed up. One of them I failed. I failed that Shiny Tauros. I got a Shiny Scyther, and then last night, I got a Shiny Cupchu. So that's three Shinies in the process of grinding for Meloetta. Three phases for Meloetta. Earlier today, I got a shiny fan pee off the daily incense in Pokemon Go. Not a shiny Galarian bird, but that's okay. Okay, I'm looking at my Pokemon Go. The white part is exactly the same. It's just the belly turning from yellow to blue. Turn around. All of you are yellow. I have 23 shiny sand shrews in Pokemon Go. Nine of them are Cantonian. So the rest are Alolan. Turn around. I swear, these items weren't here a moment ago. Because surely I would have picked them up. Don't want to go too far from the spawn radius. I can barely tell you're yellow. I'm afraid nighttime might get might make it harder to spot.
Why are these Litleos taking up my spawns? See, they all spawn turned around. Wow, it's been half the sandwich already. Hmm, maybe I'll have better luck over here in the coastal biome. Nope, doesn't seem like it. So, a couple nights ago, my dad was watching some Chinese movie on TV. I looked up at the screen for a second and I saw Dave Batista. I'm just like, wait a second, what is he doing here? He is. Wow, that's a lot. He is rather out of place right now. I saw other white people in the film, but for the majority, it was pretty much a Chinese film. So it caught me completely off guard when I looked up and I saw Dave Batista on my screen. So the movie is called Master Z Ip Man Legacy IP. So Ip Man Legacy. Yeah, I, 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 I certainly did not expect to see Dave Batista show up. So this film came out in 2018, so that was six years ago. This was before, this was long before Dave Batista lost all that weight. Nothing over here. All these sand trues and not one wants to be shiny. Where are you going? You're yellow. You know, there is also the concern of it hitting midnight and then all the 
outbreaks, uh, all, all the outbreak locations would change, but I suppose that's not the biggest deal. So what? I need to knock out another 60. Big deal. It's just an unnecessary hassle, you know? See any with blue? You know, today was rather busy at work. My sister is on her honeymoon, so she's not here, so I need to do a lot more work. Ugh, I'm tired. That's why I'm just chilling right now. You know, just... There it is! There it is! That's it! That's a shiny right there! I need a save. You can really barely tell, like, here, from the back. Wow, you cannot tell. I don't have anything to attack this with. Doesn't matter. We already know this thing doesn't have a mark. No mark, but may as well check the summary. There you go. Alright, now let's go for one more. We need one more to get Alolan Sand Slash, and then we can move on. Move on to Passimian. To, you know, Amazing World of Gumball's Miss Simeon. Oh! That was fast. Okay, no crit capture for this one. Look at just how fuzzy the belly looks with the texture. I have nothing I can use to attack this with. I didn't even check if this one had a mark or not. Well, we'll check now. No mark. That's cool. I should probably move these onto its own box. Okay, so that's two. A four that we want. I just want to check. It does have the right day, yeah? Yes. Okay, so bear with me for just a second. I'm actually going to go into home and take... Uh, and, and bring out my Gallade with False Swipe. I should have done that earlier. <sighs> well, 
while I'm doing this, let me look up. So I know for Passimian, it is it is pickle, pickle to make a fighting sandwich. Is that also with two salty? Two pickle butter, two salties is sparkling title and encounter. Good. My delay's actually in my violet game. See, there's the Scyther and Cub Chew I told you about. And if you're a little bit curious, let me just first put this Galade down. Like, these are all the things I had to catch in order to actually complete my home living decks. Yeah, quite a bit. Not these. So starting here, these are all the things I had to catch. Well, not all. There is two missing. And, you know, those two are missing for a specific reason. You know, because I want to shiny hunt them. So, my other switch is ready. It's booted up. Just waiting for a link code to connect to. You know, so it's October right now. There's a chance that January I might go to Hong Kong. No matter how much I don't like going there. No matter how badly I don't want to go. There's a chance I go just because family. The one... And the, the one and only reason I'm even considering going and is actually like the biggest factor to decide if I do go or not is to see my grandma. Because I'm thinking my grandma, she's getting old. She's clearly in no condition to travel halfway across the planet to come see me. So obviously if I want to see her, I got to go over there. And I'm a little afraid if I don't go on this particular trip and see my grandma, I'll never get to see my grandma again. <sighs> that is the only reason. Aside from that, there is nothing motivating me to go there. Not even to see my relatives, not even to look around, to sightsee, nothing. I've wanted to go to Japan for like a decade now. If I am to go to Hong Kong, well, it's basically just right there, right? I take like maybe a two hour flight and I'm in Japan. But my family, if we are to do this, we're only going to go to Japan for like four days. What the hell am I supposed to do in four days? So if I go to Hong Kong, the incentive of going to Japan for four days isn't even a deciding factor. If it was the other way around, mind you, if it was like, also, it, I would be going for like two to three weeks, and I hate going to Hong Kong. I do not like going there. My sister, she does like to go there, but even she said, you know, last time, last time she went for like three weeks, even she said that was too much for her. That was too long. She wanted to come home. And she actually likes going there. Imagine someone like me who doesn't like going there. 
Ah, oh, the moment I land, I'm gonna be like, can I go home yet? Let alone three weeks there. I do not want to go. Ugh, no matter how badly I don't want to go, seeing my grandma is probably going to make me go. And you know, obviously, I can't do anything here while I'm there. See, at, that was my thought at first. At first, I was afraid that... Uh, at first, I was afraid that maybe... Potentially more seven star terror raids will happen while I'm there, so I can't do them here. And then I realized, oh, there's only two left. There's only for Alligator and Torterra left. Who's gonna get the dishonor to be the last one? You know, unless we do also the Paldean starters afterwards, which I'm predicting will happen. I didn't even decide where to hunt. Up next is Passimian. Uh. No, that's on the ledge. I don't want to do that. Hurry up, we're wasting sandwich time. That's... not that bad, actually. I can just go into the city. Wow, that was a lot of... <laughs> yeah, because I have a fighting type sandwich going on, no wonder. So yeah, uh, I was afraid that if any sort of 7 star terror raid happened while I was there, I would not be able to do it here. And then I thought, well... If I simply just bring my capture card and my laptop, I technically could do it there as long as I, you know, have Wi-Fi. And obviously, <clears throat> too, <clears throat> it's like, I, I don't know, we've gotten random 7-star terror raids before. I, uh, let's say that's three, I don't know. Three. Four. What am I doing? Isn't Gallade faster? I don't know, five. Six. I can't get to you. Seven. I already miscounted. Whatever. Eight. Nine. Ten. Is that thing floating back there? Eleven, I think. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, wake your ass up. 16. 17. So the one we're looking for is blue. 18. Blue and orange, I believe. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23, 24. See, the best parts about these is you can tell what's from the outbreak. Because these things don't normally spawn here. 25, I think. 26. 27. 28. 29. 30. 31, on what looks like a pretty big one. 32. Jigglypuff just does not care. 33. Doesn't count, collateral damage. 34, 35. 36. 38, 39, 40, 
41. 42. So, technically, if I were to do this while I'm there, hypothetically, then I would... <laughs> in a way, I would do it on time. Because right now, I'm doing this at night. If I do it there, I would do it nighttime there. But, you know, th that's like... 12 hours ahead if I'm over there, so technically it'd be daytime here. So I would actually just be doing it on time during the day here. I would be doing something at like midnight there and it would be noon here. I don't know, sometimes it's like 13 hours, 13 hours ahead, sometimes it's 12, I don't know. Something about daylight savings, I'm not too sure which part. Like, which half of the year it is. I already lost count, like, long ago. I'm just gonna assume that that was 60. Okay, so let me see. If I just enter the city... Yeah. Spawn before me. Looks good. Looks good. I like this. Even the music doesn't know what to do. And I'm breaking the game's music so badly. Man, I keep trying to open my 3DS to grind for eggs, but it's just not easy to do while I'm doing this. You know, I don't think I have a shiny Pissimian at all in any game. I have a shiny Oranguru in Pokemon Go, not a shiny Pissimian. music, I swear to god.
I don't see anything so far. Wait, is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, it's only level 10. Okay, that's three down so far. I don't think this one had a mark. No. Brave nature. Alright, just one more to go for. And more Pico, or... Uh, I used to call it more Pico. It's technically pronounced more Peco. More Peco is... Small. So it's gonna be a little hard to notice. At least that's my worry. <coughs> okay, let's figure out which one I'm going to hunt for before I actually go. Or rather, do the sandwich. Okay, this one's an option. Oh, but the tall grass, though. Then again, this one's not bad either. You know, the pale rocks will actually be able to tell the difference. Maybe I'll go for this one. All right, let's make another sandwich. Yeah, my other game is just booning up, opening up the game. Not gonna lie, I thought this would take a little bit longer, but hey, I'm not complaining about quick shinies. You know, the faster I get this done, the faster I can just <laughs> collecting, uh, collecting to continue the eggs. Collecting, continuing to collect the eggs, I should say. You know, because that's how English is. I think for the Sand Shrew, I'm going to evolve it in my Violet game. Just because I think the last time I checked, which is earlier today. Last I checked, I had like 51 Ice Stones in that game. I don't know how many I have in here. Let's take a look. I did also come into this game to evolve a couple of things. Some things that required an item to, you know, trade evolve with. I didn't want to waste it in my main Violet game. And I don't really care if I waste it in this game, so I came in and used them from this game. You know, in this game, I evolved a Porygon into Porygon 2, then Porygon Z. I also evolved into a Magmortar, Electivire, Rhyperior, um, Kingdra. I also, in this game, evolved my shiny, authentic Sinistee into a Poltegeist. I forget if I did that in this game for, like, Dusk Noir with the Reaper Cloth. I forget if I did that in this game or my other game. <sighs> okay, so for Electric, obviously, do I have any? I don't? Oh, I can't back out. Oh, no. I was going to use an electric sandwich. You could say I could just use a dark, but I don't have the dark ingredient on my other game. Uh-oh. Well, I suppose it's not that big a deal. I didn't save after the Pissimian, that's the thing. 
So I just need to make a random sandwich and then... And, you know, just buy the ingredients. Okay, I'll just use something cheap. I need to buy more silver picks. So yeah, I, I just need to waste a sandwich right now. And then I gotta go buy more stuff. Why? Well, it doesn't even matter. Just throw it all out. Because this sandwich is going to waste anyways. What's that gonna do? What's a butter and one slice of banana gonna do? <sighs> wow, you don't see that green screens very often. That's a two-star sandwich? Wow, thanks. I find it pretty stupid you can't back out once you, you know, start making the sandwich. I find that kind of stupid. Whatever. So, let me go over here and buy myself some yellow peppers real quick. Which I hate. I'll buy two. I don't need that many. I just need really... I really just need one. Can you imagine that, though? You, you, you sell that. You do that for a living. You sell, you know, fresh produce. And then some kid comes over. Be like, can I get two slices of yellow bell pepper, please? Like, you know, in this game, they technically don't even sell an entire bell pepper. They, they sell it sliced already. <coughs> Well, I suppose you buy one, it comes in three servings, right? So technically, I just bought six. Okay, now let's do this. There goes my last silver pick. Okay, let me double check. Does this one... Sometimes... Sometimes a double salty doesn't work. Sometimes it needs a salty and a spicy. That's why. So, two... Where's the yellow? Why can't I... Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. At the, it's at the very end. Okay, yeah. It is still too spicy. Well, it doesn't matter. I could use either... Two sp I could use either two salties or one spicy, one salty. Doesn't matter. Because they both give me sparkle title and encounter. Oh yeah, I also didn't check how many ice stones I have in this game yet. I love how Pokemon just nonchalantly retcons. You can indeed use an Ice Stone to evolve Eevee. Because I, I I think it's safe to say I wasn't alone in thinking it's pretty stupid you can't use the Leaf Stone to evolve Eevee into a Leafeon. And then, you know, once they introduced an Ice Stone, it became even more stupid that you couldn't evolve Leafeon with using a Leaf Stone. And because now an Ice Stone exists, you can't evolve Eevee with an Ice Stone. And then afterwards, they changed it. They they changed it to, yes, you can. So, you know. I will voice this until probably I die, because I don't think they're going to change anything. Eevee evolving with a Fire, Thunder, and Water Stone makes sense. And then they finally made it make more sense with... The inclusion of um, Ice Stone and Leaf Stone, right? 
Why not use a Moonstone to evolve into Umbreon, a Sunstone into Espeon, and a Shiny Stone for Sylveon? Why not do that? Now, I know a Sunstone might be a bit of a stretch for Espeon, but hey, Espeon is known as the Sun Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's see just how small they are. Why are you here, Houndoom? Go away. Oh, no, I was about to say, maybe because I did a dark sandwich. No, I did an electric. Anyway, that's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I don't know if actually doing this here would be the best idea. Well, 11, 12, 13, 13, I don't see any more, there we go, 14, 15, 16, 17, Ooh, lots over here. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23. See, normally when I do this, I count in my head. 24, 25, but if I count in my head, then it's just going to be pure silence. 26, 27, 28, wow, you saw how Glaive walked around. 28 More Pico look pretty cool too, just chilling on top. 46. 47. <sighs> 48. 49. 50. 51. 52. 53, 54, 
55. 56. Seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and I said and sixty. Okay, sixty-one. Okay, now I'm a little worried because. The, the shiny is somewhat noticeable, but the problem is, it's so small. I don't think there's necessarily any good picnic spots I can do here. What about like a spot right here? Okay, I can. For a second, I thought this one was it. No, nah, it's more noticeable than that. Can I picnic here? Oh, I can. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's definitely it. And it's marked! It looks pretty big, too. Oh, nope, never mind. Nope, it actually looks smaller than that one, never mind. We got it! We found it! And it's marked! Ugh, the animations in this game. I'm not saying it's bad, I meant like, you know, the ability to not turn it off. Or the inability. The lack thereof to be able to turn off the animations. Does a hangry form just look the same?
What on earth? Uh-oh, I just remembered. I'm weak to Dark-type moves. Okay, the game really gonna, you know, stick with being broken. There we go. Alright, let's see. Let's see what kind of mark we get. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I can't wait to see what mark it has! I don't think I can check here. No, I can't. Well, I got a lonely nature. It is... Okay, cloudy. At least it's not uncommon. And, there we go. We have all the shinies we need. I still need to evolve the... Um, Sand true. First, let me check how many ice stones I have in this game. I have 51 in those in my Violet game. There's what? Two, three Pokemon that evolve with an ice stone? I don't need 51 in that game. I don't have any in this game. Okay. I am actually going to put all of them into home, as well as Galate, actually. I'm going to deposit them into my Violet game. Gonna put these along with my other shinies. Gonna put Gallade back. Which, by the way, here are all the shinies I've gotten recently. Uh, yeah. Man, I tried so hard to get another one with the Radiant Mark. I only got one with the Radiant Mark. So I decided to do the entire Rock Rough line. So, let's go and evolve the Alolan Sandshrew.
Okay, so I'm gonna evolve the second one, just because it was the second one we caught. Yeah, 51 ice stones. Alolan Shiny Sand Slash from Scarlet. Uh, I guess get rid of Snowscape. I don't really care. Okay. So, one last look at all the shinies we got today. Alright, and that'll do it for today. Welp, I'm gonna call it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time for whatever the hell else I decide to do in Pokemon Scarlet. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye now, as I leave off on all these lovely shinies we got tonight. Okay. Bye.